Okay, everybody, uh, this is going to be how we um, do set up the uh, yeast respiration lab. So first you're going to have your bin, and it's going to have a certain temperature on it. And this one happens to be the 100 degree temperature one. Um, so I'm going to need a um, something to heat up my hot water. Okay, and I'll plug that in. All right, and uh, you'll also find that it actually has two setups in here. You'll have one yeast. You'll have one graduated cylinder to share between you. And if you need it, you'll have one of these tongs for um, removing beakers from the hot plate. And a little thing to note about that, it is best to pick up the beaker as close to the lip as you possibly can. You have much more control versus down here. It's a little bit unstable. Okay, so try to pick it up toward the top. Okay? Okay. So, you should also have a bubbler. Okay? It's got a rubber stopper on one end and a tube on the other. Um, you should have one tube for your group, one tube for the other group. And a thermometer. Okay, so the first thing you want to really get going on is, is getting your temperature of your water. And you're going to, as the direction says, fill it about two-thirds of the way with water. Put it on there. Have your temperature going, okay? Um, if you're below 40, you're probably going to need some ice. And I put some ice over in your area, okay? If you're above, uh, if you're 40 or above, then you're probably going to need to heat it a little bit, okay? So... Let's pretend we've got this heating up, all right? And in the meantime, we are going to get our uh, tube and everything else set up. Okay, so one of the things we do have to make sure we do is we're going to get yeast in there, and we're also going to have some glucose solution, um, which I don't have right in front of me right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to get a little one teaspoonful of yeast. So it's kind of have to take two hands here. So now the yeast has got to be first because the yeast is dry, um, and you're going to put a liquid in there. If you put the liquid in first and the dry stuff, it will stick to the side of the tube, and that's that's not what you want. Okay, so you're going to go out a teaspoonful. So you know, you know, roughly. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just kind of dump it right down in there. Okay, might make a little bit of a mess. And you pass it over to your partner. Okay, now at the same time, you're going to fill up your graduate cylinder with the appropriate amount of glucose that you're going to need. And um, that you're going to wait on. Because one of the things you're going to have to do is make sure that this temperature is to the right temperature before you put the glucose in here. So make sure you wait on that. Um, okay, so let's pretend this is at the right temperature. We're good to go. We've got the right amount of glucose. We pour the glucose in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a rubber stopper on this. Put that in there. Okay. And I have to be very careful about this. When it has, you know, when it has a liquid in there, it will be certainly much more stable. It won't tip over, okay? Um, and you're going to need another beaker with water in there and that's going to sit in there like that. Now, here is your goal of the lab. Your goal is going to be to count the number of bubbles that start appearing out of this, okay? So what's gonna happen is you have uh, some cellular respiration happening in here, okay? It's producing CO2 gas, and the CO2 gas escaping going up through the tube and down into this that's gonna be filled with water, okay? So you're gonna have some water in here, and you're gonna start seeing bubbles. Okay, um, and you're going to use the timer to time per minute. And you go 10 minutes straight, counting how many bubbles in each minute. So what I would suggest you do is have one person be the timer, one person be the counter. And so the timer goes, okay, go. And then the other person is counting one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, all the way up. And when the time hits the first minute, they just say time, and that person who was counting would shout out how many bubbles there are, okay? And this person that is timing could write it down. So the timer is gonna be the recorder. This person is just gonna be strictly counting the number of bubbles. 
Um, okay. Um, but just go keep going. You know, don't hit stop. Don't hit reset. Just go, okay, count for the next minute. Start recounting. You know, whoever was counting is going to start back at zero for the next one. It's not a cumulative amount. It's a total in that one minute, just one minute. Okay, but you do it ten times. Okay, and you can get it done in ten minutes pretty easily. All right. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right, thanks.